in today's video i think what we're gonna do is make this episode dedicated to i guess ballast but a little different don't turn off just yet a little different so i mentioned in a previous video for my yard here i don't want to just dump a ton of ballast and go through like i don't know 20 little uh, shaker containers just for the yard so for this main line it's already ballasted that's good to go great for these two separate little tracks here what i'm going to do is cut i have a bunch of uh, osb 716s board laying around obviously uh, but i have a lot of cutoffs too sitting in my garage so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut a two inch piece to fit in between here and then it's just going to fill up this whole yard here just to take up some space and then I'll dump ballast. So, you know, instead of going through 20 shakers, I'll go through 10. Uh, hopefully not that much, but we'll find out. Uh, I accidentally started ballasting right here. And then I realized, oh, wait, I wanted to fill that in. I'm not, that's not going to affect anything. Um, but off to the garage. I'll set you guys up, put some safety glasses on you, and we'll cut some plywood, bring it down here into the dungeon. And, uh see how it fits maybe even start ballasting because what i want to do is fill in that gap obviously so 7 16 sits about yay high which isn't too bad it'll take up a lot of space that ballast would have been in and you won't even know it's there it'll be completely filled in and then i can start working on this little area right here i want to buy a static grass applicator uh put some dirt down I want to use real dirt. I don't want to, I want to try that. I really want to get some dirt from the yard, bake it, whatever you got to do, dry it out, sprinkle it, make it look great. Uh, and then I want to put some like static grass everywhere, you know, make it look realistic, make it pop, make some, you know, uh, happy mistakes. See how it goes. But let's grab some safety glasses and go to the garage. So we'll move all this crap out of the way. I'll need you. Move you. All right. I don't know if you guys want these. I'll put them on you. Don't forget safety glasses. So, I think I lied to you guys. From this angle, it looks pretty good. Uh, but it's actually sitting a little above the ties right here. Let me see if I can find something for you. That's a little better. Um, as you can see, I have a Sharpie sitting on top as a level. And it's just a little too high. And technically I might be able to work with that, but you'll see like a hump in between and I don't really want that. So, so plan B, I might end up just using scrap cardboard, but whatever I decide, I'll take you along the ride with me because I don't think this is gonna work, but I'll keep you updated. All right, so, for you, it's been a couple seconds. For me, it's been about a week. Um, mostly due to freaking being bedridden with the flu. Uh, so I might sound a little stuffy in this video also now. But 
Last thing you saw, I believe, was me trying to decide if I'm going to use the plywood. Uh, I really, really wanted to do that, but I don't think I'm going to, just because of how tall it sits. Uh, I think I showed you that in the last clip. It just sits a little too tall above the ties. I don't want to have a hump in between each of the, um, the tracks. So what I think I'm going to do now is chuck this and go back to the idea of cardboard. So I got plenty of this laying around, obviously, just like everyone else. What I think I'm going to do is take it to the table saw, rip it into... Right now, this is a two-inch strip. And I actually tested this off camera. I put some ballast on top of it. It goes down a little bit, but honestly, it looks kind of nice. So I think I'm going to stick with that. Uh, I'm debating on whether or not I want to keep it two inches or if I want to make it about two and a half so it sits a little on uh, uh, this part of the ballast and that part of the ballast of each track to raise it up a little bit. Uh, still debating on that. I might cut a couple samples and see how they work. Uh, but I'm going to run back to the garage, cut a bunch of these, bring them back, and then show you what I'm going to do. So pretty much I'm just going to put glue on top of this just like you would for the fast track ballasting uh, process and then sprinkle ballast on top of it, let it dry, and then hopefully this will be nice and rigid. Just keep it in between the track, glue it down, do some ballast up here, up here, in between the ties, uh, and hopefully, hopefully be able to call it good. But I'll take you along for the process. Let's see how it turns out. So essentially... This is what I was talking about. So I had uh, some thicker cardboard laying around. <clears throat> brought it to the garage. Ripped it on the table saw. It's about two and a quarter. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be all like bacon and warpy like this. Um, once I glue it down, it'll be nice and flat. But like I said, I want to put uh, some glue on here. Then sprinkle some ballast. Uh, make kind of like a nice stiff little sheet of, uh, I guess, ballast filler. And then glue that down and then start ballasting everything else. Blend it all in. Uh, I might do a little time lapse to show you what I'm doing. Um, but I think it'll come out pretty good. I will have to obviously cut out a piece to fit that. Um, but that should be pretty easy. So far, it seems to be working.
All right. So you guys just watched me make that. Um, I'm not sure how it's turning out in video, but in person, it looks great. Obviously, right now, it's a little, a little warped. Um, but once I glue that down, it'll be nice and flat. Uh, I can even push on it with my fingers, and I'm not picking up any ballast with it. It's pretty much stuck to that glue. Uh, and honestly, it used a lot less than I thought it would. Pretty much everything else I dumped back into this little container here so I can reuse it again later. <laughs> but just for like mocking it up right now, I think it looks great. And I think this is going to work out pretty good too. Um, so obviously you're not going to see that gap right there. I'm going to glue it down to the table and then start ballasting the fast track and blending it in together. And if you saw, there's a little spot right there I got to touch up. Uh, but like I said, just I'll dab some glue there, spray with uh, wet water, glue mixture, call it a day. But I think this is going to look pretty good. I think it's going to turn out really well. Save a lot of ballast. Um, it's kind of time consuming, but everything in this hobby is time consuming. And comparatively, I think this went a lot quicker than just ballasting the side and then dumping gravel inside here. So I'm going to keep working on this, glue it down, and then come back with an update. So here we are. Last you saw, I was still uh, putting down the cardboard, ballasting that. Um, so here, I have all the cardboard put down, all the glue put on it, ballast sprinkled on it, obviously. Um, and I actually just used hot glue, put a dab on the, uh, the bottom side of the cardboard and just stuck it to the table. And it's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. Ballast isn't coming off on my hands. So that's a plus. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. Um, obviously it'll look a lot better if there was like dirt and grass and everything and little brushes, but that'll come next. I got to keep working on, uh, ballasting this track and then putting dirt down in the middle of here. I'm still trying to get a uh, static grass applicator. Obviously I haven't picked one up yet or else we'd be watching an update on that. But for this process, I think it came out pretty well and I think it worked really easily. Um, all I did was cut cardboard. You saw that. Cut cardboard, sprinkle ballast on it, uh, and then just obviously filled in the rest. And here's the ballast. When I started that, uh, the yard project, the ballast was about here, I'd say, maybe. I think it was about halfway. So, I used just under a quarter of the bottle just to do this yard. Whereas if I would have dumped it in to fill the yard, I would have gone through multiple bottles to do that. Um, and that bottle did this front line, part of the yard, and then obviously the filler. So it's, it's lasting a good bit. I think I paid 14 bucks for that bottle. Yeah, $15. And so far, it's lasting a decent amount. I was worried that I'd be blowing through it. But the yard came out great. Like I said, got to add some more details to it, make it look a little nicer. And then I still got to ballast the inside loop, the um, little siding right there, and everything else. So that's going to be a project. Slow and steady, but it's worth it. That's where I'm at for now. I think that's gonna conclude this video's update. Um, next video, I think I'm gonna be trimming this upper loop. We mentioned that in the last video uh, when I was running into Roblox. So I think definitely what I'm gonna do is trim that and then make a little girder bridge. But thanks again for watching. If you like this video, 
please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, feel free to give it a thumbs down, but let me know why you didn't like it. Give me that feedback. I want to make these videos better for you guys, and I don't know if I can do that without your feedback and your opinions. Um, so thanks again. Consider subscribing. It means a lot. Helps out the channel. We're currently in this video at 320 subscribers. Um, slowly growing. So thanks, every one of you. See you in the next one.